My name is Dr. Nellie Tan and we're going to review some abnormal fluoroscopic studies. This is an example of a normal esophagram. The patient swallows barium and this is a double contrast area in barium and we see normal caliber as well as function of the esophagus. In contrast to that, uh, in this patient there's an abnormal findings. There's an irregular filling defect along a long segment of the mid esophagus. And this is corresponding to a soft tissue mass along the mid esophagus, as you can see here on this chest CT, consistent with patients' new diagnosis of esophageal cancer. In this case, we, this is a patient presenting with Barrett's esophagus, which is an abnormal metaplasia of the distal esophagus and what we see here is a stricture along the junction of the normal esophageal epithelium and the abnormal metaplastic distal esophagus and this area has stricture down. Uh, patients with Barrett's esophagus can develop these deep strictures uh, which may cause obstruction. Uh, patients need to be followed closely by gastroenterology because this is a pre-malignant condition. This is an upper GI. Upper GI includes an esophagram plus evaluation of the stomach and duodenum. In this patient, patient presented with abdominal pain. And what we see here is a feeling of a ulcer along the lesser curvature of the stomach. This is an ulcer and we can see a corresponding ulcer on CT that the patient had uh, with the surrounding edema as seen by this gray area around the lesser curvature adjacent to the ulcer. So this is the case of a giant ulcer along the lesser curvature. We see this less commonly now due to protonics. This patient presented with dysphagia and part of the esophagram evaluation is the motility. We can assess the primary and secondary contractions and here this patient has abnormal contraction. It's uncoordinated. We have a corkscrew appearance, and this is consistent with dysmotility. So that's a few cases of abnormal fluoroscopic findings that we can see on esophagram and upper GI.